Hello everyone, welcome to The Narrative Show. Today, I'm gonna share with you a quick tutorial on how to do a gel backfill with gel extension. Usually with gel extension, um, I feel like when a client only come back for like two weeks, it's, it's really unnecessary to do a, a full set again because I feel it's such a long process. So today, I'm gonna to use Mount Oak U Gel to do a backfill. So let's get started. So the first step we need to do is to take the gel polish off from the gel extension. So the first thing I'm gonna use is the coarse carbide round top bit. And I'm just gonna use this and dial about um, 18,000 RPM. And I'm just gonna remove the, the gel polish. Basically, you're taking the bit and just work, uh, place the bit parallel to the surface of the nail, and then just bring that bit towards you, so that way you can remove the gel polish with ease. And then you just wanna, because it's a rounded top, it's easy for you to just kind of like contour and remove the rest of the gel polish around that growth area. But if you need to, you can just do as much as you can and leave that part for a sanding band. It's good too. Now that she wants it a little bit shorter, so I'm just gonna remove it a little bit uh, of the product to give the length that she wanted. And this way you don't waste a lot of, of hand file later on if you could do this with an e-file. Right, so that looks about right, and then I'm just gonna refine a little bit, make sure it's nice and smooth. All right, and then I'm gonna change the bit to a sanding band. So now I'm just gonna use a medium sanding band and prep the nails. I'm just gonna use a medium sanding band and just start from one side of the nail and just go with one direction and just prep. If you guys need to see a, a more detail how I prep the nails, there's a video for it. But today I'm just gonna go quickly, just so then you see the whole process of rebalancing um, or backfill at the gel uh, extension with with our dew gel. I'm also using the sanding band to buff and contour the shape a little bit, just so when I once the shape is in place, the gel can just easily follow along the shape. Now I'm just gonna take a hand file and just shape the nail into the shape that she wanted. So I noticed the cuticle, I still have a little bit of dry skin. I'm gonna do one more step, my little ball bit right here, to get a little closer to the cuticle area. And from here, I'm just gonna go forward direction and just kinda you see how just lightly kind of buff out the dry skin. You keep doing it until you satisfy how you clean and contour the cuticle area. Once I'm done, I'm just gonna dust everything away. All right. So once you shape and prep the nails really well. The first step you wanna continue is with the primer. So you just wanna apply the primer on the natural uh, part of the, uh, the nail only, and the rest you don't really need it. Because um, our U gel has a base already, you don't really need a base. Again, this U gel, you can use it to extend the gel extension service, or you could use this to um, rebalance which I'm gonna show you right now. So after the primer, I'm just gonna go in with the U-Gel. 
This is Mong Uk U Gel uh, Nail System. This gel, you can really use it for any gel extension service, uh, or you could use it to overlay on natural nails. But in this case, today we're gonna use it for backfill, or you can call it rebalance as well. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drag the gel as much out on one side, and I'm just gonna take whatever left on the other side, and then apply directly onto the nail. So what you want to do is add like a slip layer. So right now I'm just going to fan the brush out and slowly just kind of apply and drag it out. You could tell I'm just adding on a, just a thin coat of the U gel to give it as a slip layer. And then you want to cover the entire surface of the nail. You see how nice and just self level. It doesn't really, it's not runny because I'm not really adding a thick layer. And if you if in, you kind of use your light in the salon and see if you're missing more on the side, because sometimes that could happen. If you do, then just go back. What I suggest is take whatever gel left on the brush and just kind of slowly, gently, and just kind of even the gel out. This surface is so quick. I guarantee you, if you do it right, you don't even need to go back and shape the nails again. Okay, so once I establish that slip layer, I'm just going to go back in the bottle and just kind of dip the brush into the gel again and just drag out a little bit more gel than I need or even just swipe a little bit at the mouth of the bottle and take a little bit, you can see from the brush, I don't have that much gel because this is only two weeks growth. So obviously I don't really need a lot of gel. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add there's different ways, but for me, I find the quickest way is just add a little bit of the bead around that growth area and just push, use my brush to push all the gel close to the cuticle area like so and slowly just kind of let, let that go and drag it out. As you can see, it's already built that foundation for you. Look how nice that is. And the side, if you feel that you need it, you can just take the same brush and just drag the, the side out. So then the gel is really nice and self-level. And you can see it floats very nicely and evenly. Okay. And the next thing I want to do is just to flip the nails to add that um, apex more in the center. So now I'm just going to have her nail flip over. Okay, so once, um, after you flip that nail for about three to five seconds, I'm gonna flip it back and have your flashlight ready. And then just flash cure it for about 10 to 15 seconds. This, with this flashlight, it helps you to move your surface much quicker. So imagine you, you have to put your hand in and out the lamp, the UV or LED lamp, but this flashlight, it really allows you to do one finger at a time. So then once you're done with the whole hand, you can easily just put in a, the lamp and fully cure for one minute. Let me show you one more time. This thumb I already prepped and put primer on already. So let me show you how to do the gel again, okay? So same thing, just gonna put the brush out and just wipe everything off on one side and just use the gel left on the other side and apply on the slip layer. So basically I'm doing the same thing. Take the brush, fan it out, just gently fan out the gel and just apply it on as thin as possible because you don't really need a lot of gel for this slip layer. Right. So once I have that slip layer on, I'm just gonna do the same thing just pull a little bit a um, little bit of gel and just add a little bit on the growth area just a little bit of it because you see that growth is not that much so I don't want to add too much gel you don't want to add too much bulk so what I'm going to do the same thing I'm just going to fan out the brush and push that bead of gel just close to the cuticle area as much as possible you could see how slowly I'm doing this. You don't have to go this slow. I just want to show you how you can fan this out and make it easier for you. Because with two weeks of growth, essentially you just want to add that bulk of gel 
at the growth area and you just want to level up with the rest of the nail so you just gently just kind of do that so once you put that push that bead towards the cuticle and you look at the side view and if you see the apex is not where you want it then you could also take a little bit of the gel and add to the apex area but this apex is pretty well pretty good but I'm just gonna show you just to give you a little bit of uh, exaggeration of the apex but you can still do it I feel like you could put a bead there and just let it self level for about three seconds and then flip the nail over again to really emphasize that apex and pull everything to the center for about three to five seconds okay so about three to five seconds you want to flip over but always have your flashlight ready and then once you flip it over double check on the apex again and once you like what you see and you like the apex then go ahead flash cure it for about 10 to 15 seconds just to flash cure it then when you finish the whole hand you can have the whole hand inside the lamp for another uh, full cure of one minute So once you have it inside the lamp to fully cure for one minute, you take the hands out and you can look. Um, if you're happy with the shape and looks clean, then you can go ahead, go straight with the gel polish or your gel design. But if you feel like you need to buff it to clean it, to just reshape a little bit, then you can go ahead, use um, alcohol and just spray it. And then use a um, lint-free wipe and just wipe it dry you can reshape and buff the nails again so now I'm just taking the same sanding band that I prepped her nails earlier since I don't really have to do a lot of shaping so I'm just gonna buff again to make it um, a smooth surface like I said you, this is just optional I just want to show you with this nail I feel like you don't really have to if you look the side view um, the shape is already there just in case if you need to then you can go ahead just buff the nails again You can really just use this and then just uh, Contour and buff it again Make it look more contour and into the shape that you want But like I said practice well enough where you don't have to do this then you save a lot of time in the salon Once you buff it, and then if you need to, you can go ahead, take the hand file again, and just reshape the both sides. Once that fully um, clean and prepped, I mean clean and then shaped and everything, all you have to do, either you ask your client to clean their hands or simply just take a dust and clean it with alcohol, then you're ready for gel polish. So give me a couple minutes, I'm going to finish the gel polish and I'm going to show you the nice end result, okay? I hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial. Um, let us know what you think about the gel backfill of that gel extension after two weeks. I feel like it's such a quicker service and then you can turn around and you have more time for other clients. Um, thank you again for tuning in and we will see you next time. Bye guys. Thank you.